One of the next products I'm working on is actually a super user-friendly, professional grade for the DIYer wipe on ceramic coating. And so I kind of wanted to bring you guys in on that as well and show you how easy the application is. And then I'm gonna let it cure for about seven days and we'll do a water behavior test and kind of a torture test on the coating. Uh, so you guys can kind of get a sneak peek behind the scenes look at another product yet in development. So this is the bottle I'm actually gonna have it in. And I prefer a microfiber applicator to a foam applicator in my experience. With foam applicators, you run the risk of scratching and marring the paint a little bit more, especially like softer clear coat. So I prefer microfiber applicators because I've never had a problem with that. We're gonna apply it on this half of the panel. The best collaboration in the history of the detailing industry just happened. That's right, Amazon slash Jimbo's Detailing. All my Jimbo's Detailing products are now up on Amazon. So if you're a prime shopper, you can get free shipping over on Amazon. I'll make sure to link below, but Jimbo's Detailing and Amazon, the collaboration of the century. And so you don't need a whole heck of a lot on it, especially for a half panel. And there's a really cool feature about this coating that most other coatings don't have, and that is the extremely long work time, even in suboptimal climates. And so it can also be layered within an hour on top of itself. And so you will start to see a slight rainbow, but the rainbow effect isn't its greatest feature or attribute. And that's how you apply it right there. And so, one thing I am still playing with is how long you have to wait to before you kind of level it. So I wanted to make a coating that kind of had a little bit of that invisible technology, if you will, where it's hard to see where you applied, where you didn't apply it. But then I also wanted something that had really long work times because one thing I'm working on is I want to be able to apply this coating onto a whole entire car in about 30 minutes. And so in order to do that, I wanna be able to work one whole half of the car at a time. And so I wanna be able to apply it to, say you start on the front fender, and I wanna be able to work your way back and around the car, but be able to apply it to the whole half of the car before you have to come back and level it. And so currently, depending upon the weather, you can give it about 10 to 15 minutes to do that. And so my thought is you could apply it to half of a car in maybe about, five or 10 minutes, and then by the time you start wiping and leveling where you started, it'll be about 15 minutes before you got to the back of the car, double that for the whole car, and you're at 30 minutes to apply this ceramic coating, rated at about three to five years. The application is dummy proof. And so, yeah, I'm gonna let this set up for a little bit longer, and then we'll wipe it, and then next week we'll come back and do a torture test on it. And then for the wipe off, it's very easy. You can have multiple towels, but because I'm only working a half panel at a time. I'm only gonna use one towel, but it doesn't need to be a wet towel. It doesn't need to be anything crazy. And it'll wipe right off. Now, the longer you let it sit, I think I let it sit about seven minutes or so, uh, it will feel a little tacky on the first wipe, and then it gets really, really slick. So another thing I wanna test for, and I just flipped the towel to kind of clear it off, but that's it in mean, virtually two wipes and it's cleared off. Yeah, we are good. Um, so that's it. So I wanted the things, and then it's slick. It's not super slick under the towel because it needs the cure, and the curing will happen. It'll start instantly and then cure fully over like seven days. During that time frame, it'll, it can be exposed to water. Uh, it could be exposed to the elements within an hour. You can layer it within an hour if you want to. Um, and what I like to do is right before I hand it over to the customer, I like to put uh, Jimbo's toughest shell on top just for some added gloss, added slickness, extra protection. Another thing I'm going to be looking for is the applicator that I applied it to. Does it harden? Um, you know, the verdict's out whether that actually matters or not. But again, it's, it's critical feedback to learn because a lot of you listening ask questions like, does it rainbow? Does it sweat? And so we saw that it does rainbow. It doesn't rainbow a ton. Um, and then will the applicator harden or not is another key factor to kind of know and determine. Uh, that way we can, or I can accurately not only write the description, but tell you when you ask. Um, but yeah, that's it for the application. So we'll let this cure again for seven days like you traditionally would uh, with the ceramic coating. And then I'll come back and show you the water behavior and how tight and round those water beads are. 
we'll wash it, we'll hit it with some chemicals and we'll have fun with it. Uh, but this product still is in development. It's just um, kind of another fun project that I wanted to let you guys in on uh, behind the scenes. So yeah, we'll keep it going. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.